Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again to Paint in Watercolour. Today's subject is this divine little Australian native violet. I'm just, you take a piece of paper, you draw half a heart, and then you cut it out. So the next thing I'm going to do is take one of these violets and start to sketch them around the outside of the heart. Actually, it's a lot bigger than the flower. So here's the size of the violet flower. This is called Mono Zero, 2.5 times 5 millimeters. Um, the brand up here is Tombow. You can see So this is a little tube of masking fluid and it comes with a little applicator lid. Um, and it's been um, quite effective. I'm just gonna get a scrap piece of paper to check that it's flowing and it is. So that's good. I'm going to start by, because I'm left-handed, I'll start masking on this side and then work my way over this way. So. Pretty dry now. It remains tacky. Holbein, of course, I love Holbein. Quinacridone magenta, transparent yellow lemon, and peacock blue. all over the painting just lightly and come in with some of this beautiful um, purple. I'm going to keep the flower handy so that I can see where it's got little bits of purple there. Switch the leaves, switch the leaves, switch the leaves. I'm 
going to use a fresh brush, pick up some of this peacock blue, pick up some of the yellow, mix a green, So some of those lines I'm going to allow to be there, some of the accidental lines, and some of them will be just banging heavily there to force the paint to move around. dry brush there where it's run out, quite nice. And I might just remove a little bit so that the tip of the edge let that dry completely. I'm going to let it air dry completely and then come back. Okay, a couple of hours have gone by and it's now nearly completely dry. So well, this masking fluid is making the job of painting so much easier. I'm just going to drop in some purple. Turn it back around again. Okay, 
Yep, I've got the heart shape happening. Okay, I've allowed it to air dry and it's lovely and dry, which is the perfect time to remove the masking fluid. Last thing that I'm going to do is come in and add little tiny yellow centers. Just adding little tiny dots and um, I think that little touch of yellow has really helped. It's a bit tempting to put a little bit of yellow in the center here. And I think I'll play with that idea for a minute. You know, like the tiny hint of yellow. Does that? I don't mind that. So it's a lot of water, and I've got these quite light sections. So I'm just going to put in the tiniest amount of yellow. I've got this section here and here. Tiny bit of yellow. I'm just going to I'm just wetting the edge of it to smooth it out to nothing. And um, maybe I'll put a tiny bit to finish up here. Getting to the fiddling stage. I'm going to just glaze in that little last bit. And a bit there. And I'm going to say that it's done. It's time to stop fiddling with the painting. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for hanging in there. If you've made it this far through the video, that is absolutely wonderful. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up if you got anything out of the video. It really makes a big difference and encourages me to make more videos. Thanks guys. Bye.